Hello there and welcome to step four of our videos. I am Jeff Hendrickson from Laughing Raven Studio. Uh, it occurred to me that some of you might want to follow me on Twitter, so I added my Twitter name down there in the box, as you can see right here. Let's click and get our tools back. If you're just joining us, this is step four in creating this jacket. You'll see that there are some uh, top stitch lines on. There's only one line right here, which we're getting ready to dig back into again. If you haven't seen these, you can grab all these right there on the blog. If you would like to get the documents for these, if you're just joining us and you don't have these documents, just sign up on the blog. That puts you into a special folder where you can actually grab the PDF files that you can work with in Adobe. As I've said before, I am not a spammer. I'm not doing this to put you on a list and start, start sending you out a lot of stuff. Um, you can subscribe via RSS feed if you'd like so that you can see when the new editions come out. I will be doing these as regularly as I can. This is uh, the fourth in a row that I've actually uh, uh, done this morning since I've gotten uh, Jing, my cool little uh, video capture software here. So uh, for those of you who have been around, let's dig back into it. If you're new, uh, get caught up with the rest of the videos and then come back to this one. It'd be great. Okay, so last video, we did this. And you know what? Because I got in a hurry, that is really not what I wanted to do. But you know what? That's going to allow me to teach you a little bit more because now we can play with this. Okay, I'm going to go back up. We're going to grab our direct select tool if you're on Mac. That's the A. And we want to move it because, as you remember from before, it hooks up to this line right here. And what we want to do is we want to make a really nice smooth transition from here on down. So we're going to grab this with the direct select tool. And because we click on it first, we get our white box. So let's match these guys up first and then we'll then we'll sit back and we'll take a look and we'll see if we like the way those lines flow. Do we like those? Well one of the things that we notice right now is that our line width is different. Our line stroke is different. You remember we talked about our line stroke a while ago. And we see that this guy is only 0.5. We see that this line right here, which is what it's supposed to connect up to, which we've actually got locked right now, so sorry, I need to unlock all those for a second. We see that that guy is 0.8, and that's actually even bigger than I normally make them. So let's pull him back down to 0.75. Let's make this guy 0.75 as well, so that they actually look like they belong together. And they do now. We have that part, but I'm still not liking the way that flow is going. Let's pull up on this guy a little bit, and let's change the way this line looks a little. Let's make it a little bit deeper into the body and give it a little bit better flow from there. Uh, do we like that? I think that's looking pretty good, but we need to zoom in here and we need to get it lined up better because we're not lined up great right now. Just take and grab that guy, pop him in there. We've got a nice smooth line now, right? Okay, so we did that we can go ahead and do the top stitch line for that right now and you've seen now how to uh, you've seen now how to actually create a line we don't need to waste time on here the uh, the object of this is to get these things done quickly so let's just copy it let's just copy it let's paste it let's do this with the top stitch lines on this side okay so here we go we're gonna do a apple C apple F to paste that back in there Let's just bump that out one. We need to get on our line, create a 0.25 out of that, and we're going to give it the dash. Okay. Now we see that we're looking pretty good down here, but we're not looking too great up here. We lost our line up here. Zoom back in. Let's grab that thing once again with our direct select tool. And let's fix it up a little bit. We'll bring it up to about here. Zoom back out, see how we did, and we did great. Okay, the next one, we're going to copy that line again, move that right back out. We're going to have to adjust that top again. Okay, the bottom, everything's looking great on the bottom, but we absolutely have to fix that top. So let's drag our way back up there. Let's zoom in just a little bit more to that. See, we see how, how we're touching again. It's just, it's because we're making a, a, a direct copy of this and it's not proportioned right to fit inside there. Okay, so we just need to reproportion that a little bit. We're just going to drag that guy right up to about here, let's say. Okay, zoom back out. Let's take a look. Boy, that five minutes goes by fast, doesn't it? We're almost at the end. That's it for this one. See you on the next one.